Have you ever found yourself yearning, even longing for love? Feeling like it's the missing piece that would finally complete your life? Society often portrays love as the ultimate goal, the pinnacle of human experience, the magical solution to all our problems. But what if we told you that this incessant chase for love might actually be more of a hindrance than a help in finding true happiness and contentment? Hello, and welcome to our channel. Let's dive deeply into a perspective that might just challenge everything you've been taught about love. Today we're going to take a step back in time and explore the wisdom of the ancient Stoics. Stoicism, a school of philosophy founded in the 3rd century BC, taught that virtue, the highest good, is based on knowledge, and that the wise live in harmony with divine reason that governs nature. The Stoics had some incredibly insightful things to say about our emotions, especially when it comes to love. They believe that our emotions should not rule us, but rather we should understand and manage them. What could this possibly have to do with our modern pursuits of love? Stick around as we unravel the Stoics' teachings and explore why they believe that we should not chase love. As we delve into the Stoic viewpoint on Stoic perspectives on love love, it's important to understand the perspectives of some of its most influential thinkers. Seneca, Marcus Aurelius, and Epictetus, among others, contributed significantly to the Stoic interpretation of love. Seneca, a prominent Stoic philosopher, wrote extensively about emotions, including love. He believed that love is a natural and necessary part of life, but warned against allowing it to consume you. To Seneca, love, like all emotions, must be moderated and controlled. It should not become an obsession that diverts us from our path towards virtue and wisdom. Delving into the Stoic perspective on love necessitates an examination of the contributions of key thinkers such as Seneca, Marcus Aurelius, and Epictetus. These philosophical stalwarts played pivotal roles in shaping Stoic interpretations of love, which remain relevant today. Seneca, a towering figure in Stoic philosophy, offered extensive insights into emotions, including love. His writings underscored the nuanced understanding that love, while natural and vital, must be approached with caution. Seneca cautioned against allowing love to become all-consuming, advocating instead for moderation and control. This emphasis on moderation is echoed throughout his works, emphasizing that love, like all emotions, should not derail one from the pursuit of virtue and wisdom. Marcus Aurelius, another influential Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, expanded upon Seneca's teachings regarding love. In his renowned work, Meditations, Aurelius reiterated the importance of maintaining control over one's emotions, including love. He emphasized the power individuals possess to shape their perceptions and responses to love, highlighting the Stoic belief in personal agency. Aurelius' reflections further reinforced the idea that while love is a natural aspect of life, it should not overshadow one's commitment to inner harmony and moral excellence. Epictetus, renowned for his pragmatic approach to Stoicism, offered additional perspectives on love that continue to resonate. As a former slave turned philosopher, Epictetus emphasized the distinction between what is within our control and what is not, a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy. Regarding love, Epictetus advised individuals to appreciate love when it is present in their lives, but cautioned against fixating on its absence or clinging to it excessively. His teachings underscored the importance of maintaining emotional resilience and detachment, particularly in the face of life's uncertainties. While specific statistical data regarding Stoic perspectives on love may be scarce, the enduring influence of Seneca, Marcus Aurelius, 
and Epictetus on philosophical discourse underscores the significance of their insights. Their writings continue to be studied and revered by scholars and practitioners alike, illustrating the enduring relevance of Stoic teachings in navigating the complexities of human emotions, including love. Moreover, contemporary research in psychology and philosophy often draws parallels with Stoic principles, further validating the enduring relevance of Stoic perspectives on love in modern discourse. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and a devoted Stoic, echoed similar sentiments in his famous work, Meditations. He stressed the importance of maintaining control over our emotions, reminding us that we have the power to shape our perceptions and responses. Epictetus, a former slave turned philosopher, taught that our tranquility depends on distinguishing between what we can control and what we cannot. And while we cannot control whether someone else loves us, we can control how we respond to these feelings. At the heart of Stoicism is the concept of preferred indifference. These are aspects of life that are not inherently good or bad, but can contribute to a good life if used correctly. Love, to the Stoics, falls into this category. It's not a virtue in itself, nor is it something inherently evil. Rather, love is something that can add value to our lives, but it should not be our ultimate goal or determine our happiness. It's a radical perspective, isn't it? Especially when contrasted with the narratives that were often fed about love being the ultimate source of happiness and fulfillment. Yet the Stoics believe that true peace comes from within, not from external factors, not even from love itself. Chasing love. But what do we mean when we say chasing love? In essence, to chase love is to make finding a romantic partner the primary goal in life. It's the relentless pursuit of love, often to the exclusion of other pursuits in personal development. When we're chasing love, we're constantly seeking someone else to complete us, to fulfill us, and to give our life meaning. On the surface, this might not seem like such a problematic approach. After all, love is a beautiful and enriching part of human experience. But when we dive deeper, it's clear that this mindset can lead to an array of problems. Firstly, it places our happiness in someone else's hands. When we chase love, we often attach our sense of self-worth and happiness to whether or not we're in a romantic relationship. When we're single, we may feel incomplete or as though we're failing. But the Stoics would argue that this is a misplaced source of value. They believed in finding contentment within oneself rather than looking for it in external factors. Secondly, when we're so focused on finding love, we may end up neglecting other important aspects of our lives, such as our personal growth, our passions, or our friendships. We can become so absorbed in our pursuit that we lose ourselves, our individuality, and the qualities that make us unique. Thirdly, chasing love can lead us into unhealthy relationships. When our primary goal is to be in a relationship, any relationship, we can overlook red flags, tolerate mistreatment, or settle for partners who aren't right for us. We can become so desperate to find love that we lose sight of what a healthy, respectful, and fulfilling relationship should look like. And finally, Chasing love can be an endless, unsatisfying pursuit. If we're constantly looking for love, we're always living in the future, always looking for the next thing. We're never present, never satisfied with what we have now. Stoic Lessons As Seneca said, he who is everywhere is nowhere. Chasing love, therefore, can lead to a life of discontent, constant striving, and ultimately unhappiness. But this doesn't mean the Stoics were against love. On the contrary, they valued it. But they advocated for a different, more mindful approach. 
Let's delve deeper into Stoicism's lessons on love. Take Epictetus, for instance, a former slave who became one of the most influential Stoic philosophers. His teachings centered around the idea of control, distinguishing between the things we can control and those we can't. Love, according to Epictetus, falls into the latter category. In the discourses, he advises, Remember that you must behave in life as at a dinner party. Is anything brought around to you? Put out your hand and take your share with moderation. Does it pass by you? Don't stop it. Is it not yet come? Don't stretch your desire towards it, but wait until it reaches you. What he's saying here is to appreciate love when it comes your way, to engage fully with it when it's present in your life, but not to desperately reach out for it when it's not present or to hold on to it too tightly when it tries to leave. Another eminent Stoic philosopher, Seneca, taught that one should love without attachment, knowing that all things are temporary. This is not to promote emotional detachment or indifference, but to foster resilience in the face of change and loss. Seneca counseled, He who loves with desire is always anguished. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, echoed these sentiments in his meditations. He wrote, Accept the things to which fate binds you and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. This advice encourages us to wholeheartedly engage with love when it comes into our lives, but to do so without clinging or desperation. These stoic lessons on love guide us towards a healthier and more resilient approach to love. They advise us to appreciate love, to enjoy it, to engage with it fully, but not to make it the sole focus of our lives or the sole source of our happiness. In essence, love should be part of our lives, not the entirety of it. Adopting the stoic view of not chasing love can drastically improve your life. Transitioning from a mindset of chasing love to one of acceptance and self-fulfillment is no small feat it requires introspection, patience, and commitment. So how can we put these stoic principles into practice in our everyday lives? Here are some practical steps you can take. Self-awareness. In the ancient world, there lived a Stoic philosopher named Epictetus, whose life and teachings exemplify the principles of self-awareness and inner growth. Born into slavery in the Greek city of Hierapolis, Epictetus eventually gained his freedom and became one of the most influential Stoic philosophers of his time. His story is a profound example of how self-awareness and introspection can lead to profound personal transformation and resilience. Epictetus was initially known for his constant struggle with his status as a slave and his yearning for validation and acceptance from his masters and peers. He often found himself in a cycle of seeking approval and jumping from one form of validation to another driven by a deep-seated fear of being alone and unworthy. Despite his intellectual prowess, Epictetus was plagued by a lack of inner peace and self-acceptance. One pivotal moment in Epictetus's life occurred during a particularly harsh period of his servitude. His master, known for his cruelty, once twisted Epictetus's leg during a fit of rage. Despite the excruciating pain, Epictetus remained calm and said, If you continue, you will break my leg. When his leg eventually broke, he simply remarked, I told you so. This incident was a turning point for Epictetus, prompting a profound internal shift. He realized that while he could not control his external circumstances, he could control his reactions to them. This revelation led Epictetus to delve deeply into Stoic philosophy, which emphasizes the importance of focusing on what is within our control and letting go of what is not. 
he began to recognize his own patterns of seeking validation and the detrimental impact they had on his well-being. Through rigorous self-examination and introspection, he started to understand that his worth was not dependent on external approval, but on his own inner virtue and character. Epictetus dedicated himself to the study and teaching of Stoicism, eventually gaining his freedom and establishing a school in Nicopolis, where he taught for many years. His teachings centered on the idea that true contentment comes from within and that we must cultivate self-awareness and self-discipline to achieve inner peace. He encouraged his students to examine their own lives, recognize their patterns of behavior, and strive for personal growth and self-reliance. One of Epictetus's most famous works, the Enchiridion, or Handbook, distills his philosophy into practical advice for everyday living. He emphasizes the importance of recognizing our patterns of thought and behavior, particularly those that lead to unnecessary suffering. He teaches that by being honest with ourselves about our tendencies to seek validation or avoid solitude, we can begin to change these patterns and find true contentment within ourselves. Epictetus's life and teachings continue to resonate today, illustrating the power of self-awareness and introspection in achieving personal growth and resilience. His journey from slavery to philosophical enlightenment serves as a timeless reminder that our greatest strength lies not in external validation, but in our ability to understand and cultivate our inner selves. By recognizing and changing our patterns, we can break free from the cycle of seeking approval and embrace a life of inner peace and self-reliance. Self-love. Instead of seeking love externally, start cultivating it within yourself. Self-love is the practice of recognizing and valuing your own worth, independent of external validation or romantic relationships. It begins with the understanding that you are already whole and deserving of love and respect, just as you are. This mindset shift is crucial because it lays the foundation for a healthier relationship with yourself and others. According to a study by the University of Hertfordshire, individuals who practice self-love and self-compassion experience lower levels of anxiety and depression. They are also more likely to have a positive body image and higher self-esteem. By cultivating self-love, you build a solid inner foundation that supports your overall well-being and resilience in the face of life's challenges. One effective way to cultivate self-love is through self-care activities that nourish your mind, body, and spirit. This can include regular physical exercise, which has been shown to improve mood and reduce stress. The American Psychological Association reports that physical activity can boost mental health by releasing endorphins and reducing symptoms of anxiety and depression. Additionally, engaging in mindfulness practices such as meditation and yoga can enhance your self-awareness and help you develop a kinder, more compassionate relationship with yourself. Self-care also involves setting boundaries and learning to say no to activities or relationships that drain your energy, ensuring you have time and space to recharge and focus on your own needs. Nurturing your interests and passions is another vital aspect of self-love. Pursuing hobbies and activities that bring you joy and fulfillment not only enhances your sense of purpose, but also builds your confidence and self-worth. A study published in the Journal of Happiness Studies found that individuals who regularly engage in activities they are passionate about report higher levels of happiness and life satisfaction. Whether it's painting, gardening, writing, or playing a musical instrument, dedicating time to your interests allows you to connect with your authentic self and express your creativity. This personal enrichment can lead to a more balanced and satisfying life, where your happiness is not solely dependent on romantic relationships. Building a life you love 
irrespective of your relationship status, is a powerful affirmation of self-love. This involves creating a lifestyle that reflects your values, goals, and desires. It means pursuing a career that fulfills you, forming meaningful connections with friends and family, and cultivating a home environment that brings you peace and comfort. According to research by the Harvard Study of Adult Development, having strong, supportive relationships and a sense of community significantly contributes to long-term happiness and well-being. By focusing on these aspects of your life, you ensure that your happiness is multifaceted and not reliant on any single source. This holistic approach to self-love not only enhances your personal growth, but also makes you more attractive as a partner, as you bring a sense of completeness and contentment to any relationship you enter. Remembering that you are already whole is the cornerstone of self-love. It's about recognizing that your worth is intrinsic and not contingent on external factors. This realization can be incredibly liberating, freeing you from the constant pursuit of validation from others. A report by the National Institute of Mental Health highlights that individuals who embrace their inherent worth are more resilient and better equipped to cope with stress and adversity. By fostering self-love, you create a robust internal support system that enables you to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and confidence. Ultimately, Self-love is not just a practice, but a lifelong journey of honoring and cherishing the person you are. And in doing so, you lay the groundwork for a richer, more fulfilling life. Embrace solitude. Stoics believed in the value of solitude. It gives us space to understand ourselves better, to reflect, and to grow. Start spending time alone and learning to enjoy your own company. Embracing solitude is a fundamental principle in Stoic philosophy, which values the profound insights and personal growth that come from spending time alone. The Stoics believe that solitude allows individuals to step back from the distractions and noise of daily life, providing a unique opportunity to engage in deep self-reflection and introspection. By being alone, we can examine our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors without external influence, leading to a clearer understanding of who we are and what we value. This process of self-discovery is essential for personal growth as it helps us identify our strengths and weaknesses, clarify our goals, and develop a stronger sense of self. Spending time alone also offers significant mental health benefits. Research has shown that regular periods of solitude can reduce stress and anxiety, improve focus and creativity, and enhance overall emotional well-being. A study conducted by the University of California, Santa Cruz, found that individuals who regularly spend time alone report higher levels of creativity and problem-solving abilities. This is because solitude provides a break from constant social interactions and external stimuli, allowing the mind to wander and explore new ideas. Furthermore, the act of being alone can help build emotional resilience, as it encourages self-reliance and the development of coping strategies independent of others' support. Learning to enjoy your own company is a crucial aspect of embracing solitude. For many, the idea of being alone can initially seem daunting or uncomfortable, especially in a society that often equates solitude with loneliness. However, there is a significant difference between the two. Loneliness is a negative emotional state characterized by a perceived lack of social connections, while solitude is a chosen state that can be enriching and fulfilling. By cultivating a positive relationship with solitude, we can learn to appreciate our own presence and find joy in activities that we can do alone, such as reading, meditating, or exploring nature. This shift in perspective can lead to greater self-acceptance and a more balanced, 
contented life. The value of solitude is not just a philosophical concept, but is supported by empirical evidence. According to a study published in the Journal of Social and Personal Relationships, individuals who regularly engage in solitary activities report higher levels of life satisfaction and lower levels of depressive symptoms. The study suggests that solitude can provide a necessary respite from social pressures and allow for personal rejuvenation. Additionally, embracing solitude can improve the quality of our relationships with others. When we are comfortable being alone and understanding ourselves better, we bring a more complete and authentic self to our interactions with others. This authenticity fosters deeper, more meaningful connections and reduces the likelihood of seeking relationships out of fear of being alone. Patience. In the age of dating apps, it's easy to get caught up in the chase for love. Instead, practice patience. Let love come to you organically, at its own pace. Patience, a core tenet of Stoic philosophy, is especially pertinent in the context of modern dating. In an era dominated by dating apps and instant gratification, it is easy to get caught up in the frenzy of searching for love. The constant swiping and quick matches create an environment where the pursuit of relationships can feel urgent and competitive. However, the Stoics taught the value of patience, emphasizing that the best things in life often come to those who wait. By practicing patience, we allow love to develop organically without the pressures of haste and expectation. This approach not only reduces stress, but also leads to more genuine and lasting connections. The Stoic principle of patience is about understanding and accepting that some things are beyond our control, including the timing of when we meet a potential partner. By acknowledging this, we can let go of the anxiety that comes with trying to force or rush romantic relationships. This mindset is supported by psychological research, which indicates that relationships formed under pressure often lack the strong foundation necessary for long-term success. A study published in the Journal of Social and Personal Relationships found that couples who took their time to get to know each other before committing reported higher levels of satisfaction and stability in their relationships. This suggests that practicing patience can lead to healthier, more fulfilling partnerships. Furthermore, patience in the realm of dating allows individuals to focus on personal growth and self-improvement. When we are not preoccupied with the constant search for a partner, we can dedicate time to our hobbies, career, and personal well-being. This not only enhances our own quality of life, but also makes us more attractive to potential partners. People who are content and fulfilled in their own lives tend to bring a sense of balance and positivity to their relationships. According to a study by the University of Auckland, individuals who exhibit high levels of self-satisfaction and personal achievement are more likely to attract and maintain healthy romantic relationships. Therefore, patience allows us to become the best versions of ourselves, which in turn enhances our prospects of finding a compatible partner. Patience also fosters a deeper appreciation for the present moment a key aspect of Stoic wisdom. Instead of constantly looking towards the future and what it might hold, practicing patience helps us to live in the now and appreciate our current experiences. This shift in focus can be incredibly liberating, reducing the pressure we place on ourselves to find love immediately. Mindfulness practices, which align closely with Stoic principles, support this approach by encouraging individuals to be present and fully engage with their current lives. Research from Harvard University shows that people who practice mindfulness report higher levels of happiness and lower levels of stress. By integrating patience and mindfulness into our approach to dating, 
We can enjoy the journey rather than being fixated on the destination. In summary, practicing patience in the age of dating apps is a modern application of stoic philosophy that can lead to more meaningful and lasting relationships. By relinquishing the urgency to find love quickly, we can reduce stress, focus on personal growth, and appreciate the present moment. Empirical evidence supports the benefits of patience, showing that it contributes to healthier and more satisfying partnerships. Embracing patience allows love to enter our lives naturally and at its own pace, leading to deeper, more genuine connections. This approach aligns with the stoic belief that true contentment comes from within and that the best things in life often arrive when we least expect them. When you do enter a relationship, keep stoic principles in mind. Maintain your independence, don't make the relationship your sole source of happiness, and ensure there's mutual respect and understanding. Mindful relationships, as advocated by stoic principles, emphasize the importance of maintaining individual autonomy, fostering mutual respect, and cultivating emotional resilience within the context of romantic partnerships. In a world where relationships are often romanticized as the ultimate source of fulfillment, Stoicism offers a refreshing perspective by encouraging individuals to maintain their independence even within the confines of a relationship. Research in psychology corroborates the significance of autonomy in fostering healthy relationships. Studies have shown that individuals who maintain a strong sense of self within their relationships experience greater satisfaction and longevity in their partnerships. This aligns with Stoic teachings, which emphasize the importance of self-reliance and inner harmony, even in the presence of romantic love. Furthermore, Stoic philosophy advises against making the relationship one's sole source of happiness. Instead, individuals are encouraged to find contentment within themselves, independent of external factors such as their romantic partner. Research indicates that placing excessive reliance on a romantic partner for happiness can lead to codependency and relationship dissatisfaction. A study published in the Journal of Social and Personal Relationships found that individuals who derive their entire sense of self-worth from their relationship are more likely to experience lower levels of well-being and relationship quality. Stoicism's emphasis on self-sufficiency and emotional resilience serves as a valuable antidote to the pitfalls of codependency, promoting healthier relationship dynamics and individual well-being. Moreover, Stoic principles advocate for the cultivation of mutual respect and understanding within relationships. This involves honoring the autonomy and agency of both partners while fostering open communication and empathy. Research demonstrates that mutual respect is a cornerstone of successful relationships, contributing to greater satisfaction and intimacy. Studies have shown that couples who prioritize mutual respect are better equipped to navigate conflicts constructively and maintain long-term relationship satisfaction. Additionally, fostering understanding and empathy within the relationship enhances emotional intimacy and strengthens the bond between partners. By incorporating these stoic principles into their relationships, Individuals can cultivate a deeper connection based on mutual respect and empathy, thereby promoting enduring happiness and fulfillment. Incorporating stoic principles into romantic relationships requires a conscious effort to balance individual autonomy with mutual respect and understanding. This involves maintaining independence while fostering emotional intimacy and connection with one's partner. Research suggests that couples who strike this balance experience greater relationship satisfaction and longevity. 
A study published in the Journal of Marriage and Family found that couples who maintain a healthy balance of independence and interdependence report higher levels of relationship satisfaction and lower rates of conflict. By integrating Stoic principles into their relationship dynamics, couples can foster a sense of partnership grounded in mutual respect, autonomy, and emotional resilience. In conclusion, adopting Stoic principles in romantic relationships offers a valuable framework for promoting individual well-being and fostering healthy relationship dynamics. By maintaining independence, avoiding excessive reliance on the relationship for happiness, and prioritizing mutual respect and understanding, couples can cultivate enduring happiness and fulfillment. Research in psychology underscores the importance of these principles in fostering successful relationships, highlighting the enduring relevance of Stoic teachings in navigating the complexities of modern romance. By incorporating Stoic principles into their relationship practices, individuals can cultivate deeper connections based on mutual respect, emotional resilience, and authentic intimacy. Emotional resilience. Learn to manage your emotions better. Stoicism doesn't mean not feeling anything, but it means not letting your emotions control your actions and decision-making. Practicing mindfulness can be a good starting point here. Emotional resilience, a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, underscores the importance of effectively managing one's emotions without allowing them to dictate one's actions or decisions. While Stoicism does not advocate for emotional detachment or suppression, it emphasizes the cultivation of inner strength and self-control in the face of adversity. Research in psychology substantiates the significance of emotional resilience in promoting mental well-being and adaptive coping strategies. Studies have shown that individuals with higher levels of emotional resilience exhibit lower levels of stress, anxiety, and depression, and are better equipped to navigate life's challenges. This aligns with Stoic teachings, which encourage individuals to develop a calm and rational mindset, enabling them to respond thoughtfully rather than react impulsively to emotional stimuli. Furthermore, Stoicism emphasizes the practice of mindfulness as a means of enhancing emotional resilience. Mindfulness involves cultivating present moment awareness and non-judgmental acceptance of one's thoughts and emotions. Research in neuroscience has demonstrated the beneficial effects of mindfulness on brain structure and function, including increased activation in regions associated with emotional regulation and decreased activity in areas implicated in stress and anxiety. Studies have shown that mindfulness-based interventions can improve emotional resilience, reduce symptoms of psychological distress, and enhance overall well-being. By incorporating mindfulness practices into their daily lives, individuals can develop greater emotional awareness and self-regulation, enabling them to respond more effectively to life's challenges. Moreover, Stoic philosophy teaches individuals to adopt a rational and objective perspective towards their emotions, thereby empowering them to maintain a sense of equanimity in the face of adversity. Research in cognitive psychology suggests that cognitive reappraisal or reframing one's perspective on a situation can enhance emotional resilience and facilitate adaptive coping strategies. Studies have shown that individuals who engage in cognitive reappraisal are better able to regulate their emotions and maintain psychological well-being, even in the presence of stressors. Stoicism encourages individuals to adopt a similar approach by reframing negative emotions as opportunities for growth and self-improvement. By cultivating a rational and objective mindset, individuals can develop greater emotional resilience and fortitude in the face of life's challenges. Furthermore, Stoic philosophy teaches individuals to embrace the inevitability of adversity and uncertainty 
recognizing them as inherent aspects of the human experience. By accepting the transient nature of emotions and external circumstances, individuals can develop greater psychological flexibility and resilience. Research in positive psychology suggests that acceptance or the willingness to acknowledge and experience difficult emotions without judgment or resistance is associated with greater psychological well-being and resilience. Studies have shown that individuals who practice acceptance-based coping strategies are better able to adapt to stressful situations and maintain emotional equilibrium. Stoicism encourages individuals to cultivate a similar mindset of acceptance, enabling them to navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience. In general, emotional resilience, as espoused by Stoic philosophy, entails effectively managing one's emotions and maintaining a sense of equanimity in the face of adversity. By practicing mindfulness, adopting a rational perspective towards emotions, and embracing acceptance, individuals can cultivate greater emotional resilience and fortitude. Research in psychology substantiates the beneficial effects of these practices on mental well-being and adaptive coping strategies, highlighting their enduring relevance in promoting psychological resilience and flourishing. By incorporating Stoic principles into their daily lives, individuals can develop greater emotional awareness, regulation, and resilience, enabling them to thrive amidst life's challenges. In the words of the renowned Stoic philosopher Seneca, the man who is serene and tranquil is not the man who has fled from things, but who remains their master. May we all strive to become masters of our emotions and our lives. Thank you for joining us in this journey through Stoicism and its perspective on love. If this video brought you value, consider liking, sharing, and subscribing for more content like this. Remember, self-improvement is a journey that we are all on together. Until next time, keep growing, keep learning, and strive to be the best version of yourself. Hope you love this video, and don't forget to leave your comments, like, and subscribe our channel. Thank you, and see you in the next video.